very first time I saw Mortal Kombat, I was totally blown away by the extremeness of it. In 1992, Mortal Kombat changed the world of video gaming forever. The use of digitized actors, compelling characters, and gruesome graphic effects all helped to create a phenomena that took arcades by storm. A lot of people don't realize that the game was originally meant to be, you know, a quick project. I think if Mortal Kombat did not have any blood in it, it probably wouldn't have had the kind of success it did. Fatality. Seeing people's first reaction of Mortal Kombat 1 in the arcades uh, was, was pretty intense. You know, their, their reaction was just so over the top that, you know, they couldn't believe what they were seeing. Mortal Kombat 1 exceeded everybody's expectations. I don't think anybody was expecting it to be, you know, to become as big as it did. There is no question of the impact Mortal Kombat has had on gamers around the world. Ah! Fight! I love playing Mortal Kombat. In 1993, Mortal Kombat 2 was unleashed upon a sea of bloodthirsty fans. More characters, more moves, more blood. The biggest challenge was probably just the amount of content that we had to generate. You know, before, everything that wore Mortal Kombat 1, we wanted to double. All the fans of the first game had high expectations for the second one. The merchandising was when we really kind of realized just how big the game had become. You know, it had become a lot more than a game. The vivalities and the friendships kind of poking fun at that whole uh, controversy that came about. All eyes were on us, whereas before we kind of snuck up on everybody. But the fans would still not be satisfied. Nineteen ninety five saw the release of Mortal Kombat three with a diverse cast of characters, crisp graphics, and an intricate combo system. Reality is boring. Nobody wants to pay for reality. We take everything beyond reality to the point where it's, you know, the only way to do this is, is through our video game. It was around this time that Hollywood smelled box office potential in the franchise. We were very happy with the first film. You know, we had seen it um, throughout its entire production. We, it turned out to be a really, really fun film. It's easy to come up with the ideas, you know. Anybody can come up with ideas for games and stuff, but it's to actually convert something from a, an idea in your head into reality, into something that is a sellable product, that's where the challenge is. Mortal Kombat was unstoppable. It was just fun playing constantly. World Combat 4 is the mother of all fighting games. New technology made for broad advances in video games, and Mortal Kombat took full advantage. In 1998, Combat, now in 3D, took on a whole new dimension. The Mortal Kombat 4 Road Tour is something that's never been done before in the video game world. I remember these big trucks driving around with the Mortal Kombat 4 logo on them. MK4's release was again marked by controversy. And a new arcade game is causing quite a sensation. Mortal Kombat 4. A new Mortal Kombat hits a new level of violence. Meet Mortal Kombat 4, the latest horror in violent video games for your kids. We took a look at games like this one, but are they just games, or could they have long-term effects on violent behavior in our society? It definitely wasn't the only game 
with that kind of violence and blood. There were games that actually surpassed it. It was just the only game that really was, you know, hugely popular and had the violence and blood. In 1997, Hollywood produced a second feature film. The thing that really astounds us is that uh, this one arcade game that we made in 1992 has managed to spawn off all these different forms of media. MK4 would be the last version of Mortal Kombat to be released in arcades, and fans eagerly awaited the series' next chapter on home systems. Tusty 3D! Well, the fact that it sold in the millions was really kind of like a, you know, a bit of a, of an attestment to it. I guess it's staying power, I suppose. <laughs> Feeding off the power of next generation systems, Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance brings the franchise home and expands its mythology. This is easily the biggest production of all the Mortal Kombat games. You could take, you know, take the work of three of the previous games, put them together, and you have uh, about what it took to, to make this game. We uh, really wanted to uh, make sure the martial arts was authentic in Deadly Alliance. I'm really excited about the look of Deadly Alliance. It has a great uh, fantasy look, but still realistic at the same time. In this game, we can make things look a little more real with the clavicles and neck bones that we didn't used to have in Mortal Kombat 4. Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance debuted in Los Angeles at E3 2002, complete with a live show by Adema, performing their original song, Immortal. The future for Mortal Kombat? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Over the last decade, Mortal Kombat has become a legend in the arena of fighting games that will be here for years to come.